we move on to the to the last presentation for this session and mm -hmm. for the day. Uh, the authors are Di Trapani, Malavisi, Marano, and Sberna. And the title of this work is Genetic Algorithm Based Optimization of RC Frame Structures Retrofitting with Steel Jet. I think that the presenter is Fabio. Yes, uh, I will share the screen. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, thank you uh, to all for attending. Uh, the name of this work algorithm based optimization on C frame structure with steel jacketing. Uh, it is based on uh, uh, an attempt to uh, minimize the cost of retrofitting intervention when we are dealing with uh, retrofitting, uh, seismic retrofitting of frame structures. Uh, as you know, uh, when we want to decide some um, uh, strategy for the intervention, we can move towards tactility increase or strength increase. And by the way, we have uh, several opportunities to, uh, uh, of retrofit methods for structure. Uh, the other possibilities is base isolation and in base isolation, you will, will change the demand. As you can see, you will switch from the, uh, the green line to the dashed line that you can see below. Um, let me set the pointer, okay. Um, so uh, the optimization goals in this case are trying to minimize the cost of these interventions because uh, uh, at the same time is we minimize the cost, we are going to minimize also uh, the number of the elements that we are uh, reinforcing. And in this way, we are trying to minimize the uh, downtime for the structures, okay. so. Uh, I will show an application on steel jacketing of probably this is not exactly uh, uh, the, in the, the theme of uh, our on this conference, but uh, I would like that you see this as an application that we can move uh, uh, eventually with other retrofitting systems and to other typologies of structures, such as the one related to this conference. Okay, what are the problems of uh, steel jacketing? It, these are a very invasive techniques. So what we want is that to reduce as much as we can the amount of uh, retrofitted elements, and we want to uh, reduce the downtime for the building. Because of this, the engineering optimization problems is fundamental in this case. So what we propose is a, a genetic algorithm of procedure in which we model the structure in an OpenSys framework. And the OpenSys structure is controlled by MATLAB and by a genetic algorithm uh, framework, which uh, uh, minimizing the retrofitting costs will uh, provide us the final position. So there is a topological optimization of the position of the columns to be retrofitting and the minimum spacing uh, of uh, uh, the buttons that we have to use. Uh, I don't go into details on gen genetic algorithms because uh, I know that uh, most of you are experts on these. Uh, so our case study is a traditional RC frame, but is a RC frame that is uh, uh, basically not seismically designed. We have modeled this in open this fiber section uh, for space elements, uh, and we have assigned some um, stress strain models, uh, we have defined some uh, stress strain laws for taking into account the confinement action by uh, the um, jacketing. And uh, at the end, we have defined the probable most uh, uh, likely design space. So we have, in order to reduce the design space, we're searching these possible elements. We are uh, um, restricting the design space into the first two floors. And uh, within the first floor, uh, uh, we, have, we are defining the dimension of the angles, we are defining uh, the, the thickness, and uh, our algorithm will say us where to locate the retrofitting and which space in uh, uh, the buttons we have. Okay, and so uh, basically we define a, a design vector, and in that design vector, you have uh, 
uh, some binary variables. So this means that we have zero. Uh, this means that uh, the column is not reinforced. The one means that the column is reinforced. Okay. Uh, so these are Boolean va va variables. While uh, uh, the first variable is the spacing of, of the steel. So. Uh, and so uh, the procedure will start generating several, uh, several, uh, the population of a different, uh, a random population of elements. Uh, each element is uh, uh, tested by the pushover analysis and the, the uh, capacity demands ratio is evaluating, evaluating if uh, uh, the element, the, the, the um, uh, each ele each uh, element is feasible or unfeasible. Uh, the objecting function is then uh, built, and the objecting function will take into account the workmanship cost and also the cost related to the weight of this of what steel. We also define a penalty functions which penalizes uh, the, the individuals which are not feasible. In this case. These elements are uh, elaborated by MATLAB, uh, analyzed by OpenSeas. Each element is uh, has its evaluation of uh, the capacity to band ratio. And finally, we get uh, a convergence of uh, several, after several generation, we have a convergence up to the optimal uh, solution which is uh, uh, the one presenting the lowest cost, as you can see in this semi-logarithmic space. And uh, at the same time, we are exploiting at the maximum possible the capacity of the materials because we are moving to a lower uh, capacity demand ratio close to one. Okay, in this case, it's a very simple case. We can find that the retrofitting columns to, uh, the re columns to retrofit are on, uh, only the one aligned uh, at the center and the column at the top. And there are some um, uh, differences in cost. As you can see, if I try to retrofit both the first two story, I'm going to spend about 50,000 euros. Uh, at the end, uh, I'm going to spend with my optimized solution, I'm going to spend about 16,000 uh, 16, euros. And finally, uh, we can see uh, that, uh, of course, this is um, an application of, of a method that um, based on a strategy that can be applied to any uh, frame, I think, structural typologies. And uh, the advantages is that we can locate uh, the um, retrofitting at some points uh, and uh, we can just retrofit what we need. And uh, in, this way, in this way, we can minimize the cost of the intervention and also the time, downtime for the extraction, okay? Uh, for more details, uh, this is a paper related to this work. And thank you so much uh, uh, for uh, attending. Well, thank you for, for I try to stay in five, six, five, six minutes. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> I was very in a hurry. Don't worry, this, this session is special, I think, <laughs> from this point of view. Uh, well, thank you so much. Uh, I think that Francesco um, has a question for you. Yes, thank you for the presentation, Fabio. It's amazing how much money you can save by optimization. <laughs> so my, <laughs> my question regards the optimization algorithm. Is there a special reason why you choose a genetic algorithm and not uh, traditional optimization algorithm? Uh, well, uh, it is uh, the one that we, uh, I, I, um, it is very uh, easy to be uh, implemented in MATLAB because as you can see, we have a design vector. Um, I cannot find the design vector shape. Uh, so as you can see, we have a design vector, uh, and this design vector are, represent the single columns, and these columns have zero or one if they are reinforced or, are reinforced or, or not. Oh, uh, 
this is very suitable for the topological optimization using a genetic algorithm because it is just in the shape of a vector uh, and, and in which I can uh, make some operations of uh, uh, mutation and crossover and uh, it will change uh, by several, um, by changing the, the, going ahead with the different population, uh, the, the individuals going to, towards the, the best one. And uh, uh, I think that is the most suitable way uh, using a genetic algorithm to, to uh, try to solve these problems because it is a discrete problem. It is not a continuous problem. And in this way, uh, the genetic algorithms can help us in uh, solving this. Uh, the fact that this is a discrete problem and the fact that this is a Boolean problem, zero, one, okay? Okay, thank you. I hope that it is uh, enough <laughs> for us it, as an answer. It, it is a good reason to choose it. Uh, it was, a, a, maybe it was an exam or a question. <laughs> I was joking, Francesco, because we are very... Yes, yes. Thank you, Fabio. Uh, we have another question uh, from Stefano. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you, Fabio. It's very interesting. And uh, uh, as Francesco also mentioned, uh, you have a big reduction uh, of costs. And um, I don't know how much or if you uh, you select why you selected this kind of building as a benchmark but uh, so uh, to put this kind of things in application for which kind of structures you do you think could be oriented this kind of optimization I'm thinking I was thinking about school buildings or strategic structures. I, I'm not sure that nowadays it could be affordable for, a, for instance, a private condo or things like this. Or do you think it's possible? Uh, uh, so you mean that it is not affordable for private customers that want to make some seismic retrofitting of uh, Oh, it depends. Building. Maybe for a big condo, maybe six. Yes, I know. In fact, this is, is a this is a very small structure. We start with this because we have to uh, try to have some control of the results of the structure. So for we we could not start with a very complex structure. This is the first work we are doing on these, but we are uh, uh, just uh, already working on some. Uh, uh, complications, for example, including uh, shear verification and shear verification to the, uh, to, to the additional demand from measuring fields. Uh, I think that this kind of approach is good when you have uh, a structure that is big enough uh, and uh, to save uh, 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 several money. Uh, uh, because, for example, as you told, strategic structures or very uh, structure which has uh, uh, a lot of columns, not like this one, but uh, imagine, for example, that we have a building with uh, 100 columns per, per story, you can have a big uh, economical uh, save. And uh, by the way, uh, the idea is try to develop such uh, strategies to um, have the opportunity in a uh, future, I don't know, uh, uh, maybe 10 years, I don't know, and uh, try to see if maybe this uh, uh, optimization uh, uh, algorithms could be implemented in some traditional codes that we use to design instruction, to design retrofitting intervention. And also uh, there is another uh, important issue that is related to the uh, um, computational times, uh, because uh, you have not an answer in uh, 10 minutes, you have an answer in uh, some hours for this kind of building, and uh, uh, if the structure becomes more complex, so for example, if you want to consider both two directions for earthquake, and uh, you will spend more time. But I think if, for example, it's, uh, you have a 1,000 euro uh, 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 intervention cost, and then you save, for example, 30%, uh, 
this could be a good compromise uh, for uh, uh, for the customers and, and also for uh, the other um, people. It's all for the um, for the government also uh, that is investing on uh, retrofitting interventions for uh, strategic buildings. Uh, but yes, because of course you have to add to this kind of cost also the seismic assessment and the, the of the structure before understanding if you need uh, uh, retrofitting or not. Yes, but an, another thing that uh, the another possible approach is uh, sometimes is that uh, we uh, actually don't don't know exactly what to retrofit. So also uh, eventually uh, running these with only one direction in the most uh, simplified way can help uh, us can help the designer to start to can give a, a suggestion to the design. Of course, the final decision is up to the engineer, but uh, this could give you, you uh, an idea, okay, uh, of what you, you can do even starting this uh, into uh, not complete op optimization of everything, okay? Okay, thank you. The, I think this topic is very interesting for uh, civil protection purposes and uh, Side yes, it is. Uh, we are starting work a lot, working a lot of, on uh, on this, and uh, uh, there are uh, a lot of paper in the past were were done, uh, for example, for optimization of uh, dampers, for examples, but uh, uh, not very much on uh, retrofitting systems. So now we are trying to move to fiber reinforced polymers, for fiber reinforced uh, FRP, for example. And that nothing, completely nothing about optimization of retrofitting on measuring structures that are even more complex to, to individuate the, um, the walls to retrofit. Because when you retrofit a wall, you attract more force. So you make a reinforcement in that wall at the, and you start again. So for measuring optimization could be very important to to carry it out to save money and have uh, maximum exploitation, exploitation of materials. Thank you, thank you, Fabio. Well, thank you. Um, any other question? Okay, I want to, to thank again Fabio for, for the presentation. Very nice.